all right people welcome back to the channel thanks again for tuning into another one here on the coach's desk i know everybody is so excited about what is to happen at this year's olympics one of the most excited or exciting olympics uh build up that i've seen in in in, in a long while definitely of course it is as a result of what the athletes have been doing and in particular the jamaican male athletes i know some people don't want to hear that but we are back you understand and um the the the, the build up to the olympic the lead up is very 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 much anticipated but i want to talk about one thing that the olympic uh the world athletics they would have introduced for the first time in track and field at the paris olympics and i believe that that this is well I, I think that this is a good thing and it can also be a bad thing because if somebody comes from that round and actually win the uh, event then you know persons might you know cry foul that hey this person was eliminated and you, you know the thing go when it comes on to, to to people and what happened before so yeah the repechage round will be included in track and field if you actually fail to advance on placement in the event 200 meter 1500 meter the an hurdles event will get a second chance so this will not take place for the 100 meters male and female no so if you miss out there will there will be no repechage for you you understand so that is the situation as it um stands now in 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 essence what it is saying is that the repechage round which has been used in other sporting disciplines for years will replace the system of athletes advancing by time and that is a recent announcement by the world athletics do you believe that this is something that can be implemented and that it will be accepted in the track and field world tell me uh, your thoughts on this one people because i think it is it's going to be met with mixed emotion of course anything new that is introduced certainly persons will not just jump onto it right away right so the tradi traditionally athletes would even will earn automatic qualification to the semi-finals based on where they placed in the first round and a number of fastest losers joining these folks however according to the release by world athletics and that was released in July 2022 so there was a lot of time for persons to ponder on it you know what I mean uh, the World Athletics Council approved uh, an innovation to uh, the regular competition format for the Paris Olympic Games introducing the repechage round to all individual track events to all individual track events from 200 meters to 1500 meters in distance including the hurdles event so of course we know what happened to to a rashid broadbell um when he when he fell so so i think that particular instance would have been you get a second chance or second pick at the cherry so it is something similar to that now in this new format folks athletes who do not qualify by a place in round one heats will have a second chance like i was saying before to qualify for the semi-finals by participating in a repechage heat to release the release pointed out pretty much now this will replace this the, the former system of athletes advancing through fastest times usually denoted to a a, a small queue you understand or a lowercase q if, if if you want to say it that way in the results in addition to the top placing in the first round heats um denoted by the uppercase q in the results world athletics explained that these events will now have four rounds so rather than the three rounds there will be four rounds round one repechage round semi-finals and finals so that is a situation where that is concerned and I, I i don't know if 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 this really will i mean if it has been used by other sports throughout th 
throughout um, the years and then it is going to be tried in track and field. If it wasn't working, then the, these other sports would not be using it. But it gives opportunity to some people to really go out. Um, I, I, I suspect that the athletes will pretty much prepare for, three, for four rounds rather than three rounds. So I, I don't know how they're going to do it. I don't know how they're going to you know, um, prepare for this, especially on the psychological aspect, the mental aspect. But it, it, it is new, and like I said before, things that are new doesn't really, you know, come with that sort of acceptance right away. So, uh, let's see how it goes. Again, <laughs> in the, the last um, championship they had, people wait in a waiting room to see, uh, or the bubble room. Okay? We, we normally talk about athletes being on the bubble. So they are placed in a bubble room and they are hosted out of that room or they remain based off the other rounds that are, are being run. So people are going to have an, another opportunity to, 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 to pick at the cherry. Um, will it favor some athletes? Will it put some athletes at, the, at a disadvantage? I don't know. But let's see how it goes. The first time this has been... Um, this is going to be done at the Olympic Games in track and field. So let's see how it goes. Um, you can share your thoughts on this one, people. Alright, until next time, stay safe. Peace out.